Medan uh, is an emotional journey of uh, a man called Syed Abdul Rahim and football is in it yeah so uh, i don't call it a sports biopic but i call it emotional journey of Syed Abdul Rahim film jab shuru kar rahi thi jab film ki jab shuruaat hui thi tab nahi laga tha ki itni lambi journey hogi maidan ka unhone subject sunte hi seedha haan bol diya aur uh, no questions asked and i saw the transformation of this man from singham ajay devgan to sayed abdul rahim choti choti cheeze hain jaise uh, he would come to the set aadmi apna posture to aise rakhta hai <laughs> aur jaise hum roll stand by bolte the yeah we would come back to this <laughs> you know come back to the character of sayed abdul yeah somebody asked me that why didn't you cast all these players who are already known actors i said then reality will not be there <laughs> then realism will not be not there. be there yeah i'm happy i'm contented Hi guys this is Himesh and welcome to Pink Villa. Today we have with us Amit Ravindranath Sharma who is all gearing up for the release of Maidan. Welcome to Pink Villa Amit it's lovely having you here. Thank you Himesh. Amit my first question to you is after badhai ho you must have been flooded with offers. What got you on board Maidan or what got you to select Maidan as your next after? I had uh, it was in fact uh, badhai ho was uh, not even released yeah. and uh, uh, Bhuvan ji came to me with this idea. a uh, story on sayed abdul rahim um, who was our football coach and the stories from 1952 to 1962 and uh, story of a man jo basically he's an unsung hero nobody knows about him we are all uh, uh, we are a cricket nation yeah and football khela jata hai but us level pe nahi khela jata hai yeah so and when you were, and i'm i'm a मेरे को स्टोरी कहानियाँ बताने में बहुत मज़ा आता है yeah. तो जब मुझे सैयद साहब की कहानी पता लगी रहीम साहब की जब कहानी पता लगी उन्होंने क्या क्या किया है फॉर आर कंट्री आई थिंक दैट रियली एक्साइटेड मी इसके ऊपर पिक्चर बननी चाहिए बननी ही चाहिए कुछ भी हो सकता बट यू नो वेन एवर आई स्पोकन टू बोनी की सेट मैदान इज अ लॉट मोर देन जस्ट फुटबॉल वॉट इज़ योर इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑफ दिस एंटायर स्टोरी मैदान इज एन इमोशनल जर्नी ऑफ a man called sayed abdul rahim and football is in it yeah so uh, i don't call it a sports biopic but i call it emotional journey of sayed abdul rahim in which sports is there football is there yeah and we will get to know about him about his life his struggles and his what he what he did for country what he what he what country meant to him yeah you know so हिंदुस्तान भारत उनके लिए क्या मायने रखता था yeah. इंडिया क्या मायने रखता था उनके लिए uh, उनका प्यार फुटबॉल के लिए क्या था और और फुटबॉल को क्या समझते थे uh, तो उनका ये कहना था कि वी आर जस्ट फाइव ईयर ओल्ड कंट्री इन 1952 या वी आर जस्ट हमको अपनी स्वतंत्रता अभी अभी मिली थी और uh, पाँच साल के बच्चे थे हम लोग <laughs> उसके पहले वी वर नोन एज ब्रिटिश इंडिया या तो फुटबॉल एक ऐसा गेम है जो वर्ल्ड में खेला जाता है हर कंट्री खेलती है अगर हम इसमें अच्छे होंगे तो हमारा नाम ग्लोबल लेवल पे बहुत बड़ा होगा और तो ये उनका मानना था कि हम लोग देखते हैं ना दैट सरहद पे सिपाही लड़ रहा है और अपने देश के उसके यू नो ऑनर के लिए सो ही वॉज वन ऑफ द सोल्जर्स हु वॉज हु वॉन्टेड फेम for the country name for the country yeah but you know it has been a relatively long journey for you on maidan what were the biggest challenges that you faced as a director film jab shuru kar rahi thi jab film ki jab shuruaat hui thi tab nahi laga tha ki itni lambi journey hogi uh, but covid was the biggest factor which yeah. came and jisse uh, uh, film ki shooting ruki bhi fir shuru hui fir ruki fir shuru yeah. hui so challenges were there Uh, a lot of frustration was there. Yeah. Uh, but मुझे लगता है कि हर चीज़ का एक सही वक्त होता है सही वक्त रिलीज का भी होता है और आई थिंक वो वक्त आ गया है yeah. जो uh, इस फिल्म के लिए सही वक्त है रिलीज होने के लिए yeah. uh, हम लोग हमने 
2019 अगस्त में शूटिंग शुरू करी थी एंड 2020 फरवरी तक हमारी 65 परसेंट फिल्म शूट हो गई थी ओके okay. बाकी कुछ सीन बचे थे और मैचेस uh, बचे हुए थे तो और मैचेस जो है वो इंटरनेशनल मैचेस थे जिसके अंदर प्लेयर्स जो थे हमारे सब बाहर से ट्रैवल कर रहे थे तो वहाँ से मेन चीज़ शुरू हुई कि लॉकडाउन लगा तो सबको सारे प्लेयर्स आए हुए थे शूटिंग के तीन दिन पहले लॉकडाउन अनाउंस हो गया 24 तारीख से इनफैक्ट आज 21 मार्च है और 21 मार्च को हमारी शूटिंग शुरू होने वाली थी 2020 में ओके कोइंसिडेंस है और आज ही के दिन हम लोग बात कर रहे हैं और मार्च ट्वेंटी को अनाउंस हो गया था कि तो हमने को ना बोला कि चलो चौदह दिन का क्वारंटीन है उसके बाद में हम शूटिंग शुरू करेंगे बट दैट डिड नॉट हैपन बिकॉज लॉकडाउन वेंट ऑन फॉर लॉन्ग लॉन्ग तो हाँ फुटबॉल शूट करना एक उस समय वॉज अ बिग बिग चैलेंज फिर जब हमने शूटिंग शुरू करी 2021 के अंदर मैच की तो हम सबको कोविड हो गया टीम में कुछ बारह तेरह लोगों को हम सबको कोविड हो गया तो शूटिंग फिर से रुक गई एंड देन वेन वी स्टार्टेड शूटिंग अगेन तो अप्रैल दो हज़ार अप्रैल फोटीन को दो हज़ार इक्कीस में वापस से लॉकडाउन लग गया तो चैलेंजेस आते ही जा रहे थे नो एंड देन साइक्लॉन आ गया या हमारा पूरा सेट जो था वो डिस्ट्रॉय हो गया बट वही है दैट यू नो अंदर ठाना हुआ था कि कम्प्लीट करनी है और सही तरीके से कम्प्लीट करनी है आई वॉन्टेड टू शूट फुटबॉल इन अ पर्टिकुलर वे एंड फॉर दैट आई नीडेड टाइम प्लानिंग एंड ऑल ऑफ दैट आई गॉट वेन यू हैव प्रोड्यूसर लाइक बोनी कपूर ऑन योर साइड यू विल गेट एवरी थिंग टू यू नो फिनिश द फिल्म एंड आई थिंक द स्टफ दैट वी हैव सीन इन द ट्रेलर विथ रिगार्ड्स टू फुटबॉल एंड इवन अदरवाइज वॉट वी हैव बीन हियरिंग अबाउट द वे फुटबॉल हैज बीन शॉर्ट आई थिंक यू हैव गॉट दैट बैंग ऑन द द फुटबॉल सीन्स एंड एवरी थिंग आई थिंक इन टर्म्स ऑफ अथेंटिसिटी इट्स इट्स राइट देयर so the, now when you see the film is it a sense of accomplishment that this is what was my vision and i've got it matlab main bata nahi sakta ki main kis level pe khush hu because abhi bhi kuch cheeze chal rahi hain jo main complete kar raha hu apni taraf se picture to sab log bol rahe complete ho gayi hai lekin meri choti 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 cheeze abhi bhi roz ke level pe chal rahi hain to wo roz ke level ki jo khushi hai na wo excitement people are asking me ki uh, um, what are you nervous are you scared but i am not nervous i am not scared i am excited that people will come and watch this film now and logon ko achhi lage ki film yahi maan ke chal rahe hain hum sab log aur koshish hui hai ki people will come and watch the film and they'll love it and yeah. they'll enjoy it and excitement us cheez ka bahut zyada correct and amit whenever you work with an actor like ajay devgan you know even in this poster we see it there is no it is static but there is an emotion which is there in his eyes you learn when you work with such an actor what did you learn what did you discover through this journey when you were shooting or directing him as an actor ajay sir is doing this film and uh, uh, maidan ka unhone subject sunte hi seedha ha bol diya aur uh, no questions asked he okay. said mere ko ye कैरेक्टर बहुत पसंद हैं और नो बडी नोज अबाउट हैम और फुटबॉल पे कोई खास पिक्चर बनी नहीं है अभी तक कुछ yeah. बनी है पहले लेकिन आ, आ, समय हो गया है थोड़ा थोड़ा yeah. उन्होंने सीधा हाँ बोल दिया लेकिन मेरे मन में एक शंका थी एक एक <laughs> चीज़ चल रही थी कि हाउ अजय देवगन विल प्ले सईद अब्दुल रहीम ओके बिकॉज हम लोग अपने दिमाग में एक इमेज बना लेते हैं ना हमेशा एक एक इमेज रिक्रिएट कर लेते हैं कि और मेरे दिमाग में इमेज उनकी सिंगम से थी और सैयद अब्दुल रहीम वॉज अ मैन ऑफ लाइक ही इज नॉट दिस दिस एंड वी डिड अ लॉट ऑफ रिसर्च विद माई टीम मेरी टीम में अमन अतुल ये बहुत बड़ा सपोर्ट था मेरे साथ में मेरे मेरी टीम के अंदर और पूरी टीम मतलब एवरी डिपार्टमेंट देव डन जस्टिस टू दिस फिल्म तो मैंने बहुत अपना रिसर्च करना शुरू किया दैट यू नाइ स्टार्ट मीटिंग प्लेयर्स पी के बैनर्जी साहब बाला राम साहब हकीम साहब जो रहीम साहब के बेटे थे अरुण घोष साहब चुनी गोस्वामी साहब 
फ्रैंको सर तो उनसे मैंने जानना शुरू किया कि यू नो उनके हाव भाव क्या थे उनकी बात करने का तरीका क्या था वो अपने प्लेयर्स के साथ में किस तरह से पेश आते थे प्लेयर्स को संभालने का कैसे तरीका था तो उनसे मुझे बहुत सब चीज़ें पता चली एंड देन आई मेट अजय सर एंड आई सेट मुझे इस फिल्म में डायलॉग बहुत कम दिखते हैं मुझे इस फिल्म में दिस मैन इज एक्चुअली ही टॉक्स लेस इज इज आई लव इट <laughs> and then I uh, told him, you know, I need to give you a narration. Mm-hmm. Script ho gayi complete. I want to give you the narration. And I want to talk about Syed Abdul Rahim. He said done. So I gave him narration, not a reading narration, but the emotional narration. What yeah. I have about the about the story was about one hour narration to him. And he just told me one thing. He said, "Tell me what am I supposed to do?" He is a director's actor. Yeah. He will do. He never asks any questions. Hmm. Director ne bola ye hai. And I saw the transformation of this man from Singham Ajay Devgan to Syed Abdul Rahim. So I am saying this openly that in ke alawa koi role nahi kar sakta. He is such an amazing actor. Uh, like I am saying, he is such an amazing actor. Like I am saying, he is such He would come to the set. आदमी अपना पॉस्चर तो ऐसे रखते हैं और जैसे हम रोल स्टैंड बाय बोलते थे कैरेक्टर ऑफ सईद द वे ही वुड टॉक द वे ही हेज डन द परफॉर्मेंस इन दिस फिल्म ऑन द थर्ड डे ऑफ द शूट आई टोल्ड इन दैट आई हैड अ डाउट दैट ये कैसे होगा बट इट इज अनबिलीवेबल वट आई एम सींग ऑन स्क्रीन द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इन यू यू नो हाउ यू Have you have just changed yourself? Yeah, and he said that that is coming out naturally because the script you have given such a world around me, and the script is such that yeah. you know it's it it's made my life easy. That's what I I would say that you know such a quality actor. And uh, मैं उनको जाके बोला एक दो दिन मेरे को पांच पैसे का स्माइल चाहिए बहुत मुश्किल होता था ना okay. तो मैं बोला तीन पैसे का दे दीजिए <laughs> पांच पैसे का भी दिया तीन पैसे का भी दिया इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर टू इमोट यू नो दीज स्मॉल स्मॉल यू कैन सी इन आईज यू वर टॉकिंग अबाउट हिज आईज इट इज ऑल नेचुरल वॉट ही हैज एडेड टू दू वी हैड लॉट ऑफ डिस्कशन वी स्पोक अबाउट द कैरेक्टर एंड ही सेट वट एवर इज देर इन यू माइंड दिस टेल मी So I told him, and and that's why he's he's a director's actor. He's professional. He's punctual. He's on time. No questions asked. He's yeah. just there for you. Yeah. And is it good to be surprised as a director? Hundred percent. Yeah. Like you, you come with a belief. Yeah. You come with a belief. You come with a belief. Yeah. 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 You come with a belief. as a director there is there's a lot of goodwill about you in the industry because of your work in the ad industry as well also badai ho and now maidan and there's so much positive talk around you i'm sure a lot of it must be must be reaching you as well when when there is such goodwill how easy or difficult is it for you to zero down on the work that you are doing because goodwill always leads to responsibility so so how do you tackle that frankly himesh i don't think about all these things yeah Uh, I'm doing my work. Hmm. I'm doing my job. I'm doing. Uh, I'm. I'm just trying to be honest to the stories what I want to tell. Uh, I'm being very, very honest towards writing the the script uh, while writing the script. Good will come. अच्छा होगा तो बन जाएगी. And uh, but उसके लिए extra effort. आपका काम अच्छा होगा तो वो extra effort की ज़रूरत नहीं है. मतलब वो उस चीज़ को दिमाग में रखते हुए you don't make films. Yeah. you have to be honest towards your work and you need to give more than 100% uh, kahin se katauti nahi ho sakti wahan hmm. to mujhe acha lag raha hai sunke ki meri goodwill hai market ke andar <laughs> aapse mujhe pata lag raha hai but main uh, uh, bahar wagaira ke thoda kam jata hu uh, aapne nahi dekha hoga mujhe media ke yeah. samne bhi bahut zyada to uh, come less information is always better <laughs> so uh, 
when you get to know about all these things you feel good yeah uh, but we uh, i mean honest to my work and this is what i love doing i i i want to keep doing always in my life yeah and what kind of stories excite you at this point of time you know i uh, <clears throat> like a lot of people have asked me that after badhai ho uh, first was tevar yeah then very different film from tevar was badhai, badhai ho from badhai ho very different film maidan maidan i feel there is no genre which i which i say that ki main ye hi banana chahta hu kahani agar exciting hai to fir wo kuch bhi ho action ho comedy ho drama ho i would love to make okay mera uh, ye nahi hai ki ab, ab main iske baad ye banana chahta hu hmm. ek achhi kahani jo bhi milegi wo banaunga okay uska main ye nahi sochunga ki are ye to mere uh, maine aisa socha nahi hmm लस्ट स्टोरी के अंदर भी एक मैंने फिल्म बनाई वन पार्ट आई मेड कॉल तिल चट्टा वेयर काजोल इज देयर इन दैट थिंग इट्स अ कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट फिल्म फ्रॉम वट एवर आई मेड टिल टिल नाउ सो फार सो मुझे अलग अलग चीज़ें बनाने में ज़्यादा मजा आता है क्योंकि मुझे लगता नहीं तो नौकरी हो जाएगी नौ से पाँच बार बट इज देर एनी थिंग इन योर माइंड नाउ फॉर फॉर योर नेक्स्ट आफ्टर मैदान आई हैव लाइक टू थिंग्स विच आई लाइक एंड उन दोनों में से कुछ एक चीज मैं आगे बढ़ जाऊंगा ओके आफ्टर मैदान ओह ड्यूरिंग मैदान आई हैव नॉट आई सेड पहले मैं ये पिक्चर कंप्लीट करूंगा हां रिलीज करूंगा फिर दूसरी पिक्चर में घुसूंगा जाऊंगा ओके बिकॉज़ आई वांट टू मेक एट अ टाइम जस्ट वन फिल्म ओनली आई वांट टू वर्क ऑन ओके इट्स अ 5 ईयर ओल्ड 5 मोर देन 5 ईयर ओल्ड है 5 एंड अ हाफ ईयर ओल्ड जर्नी या फॉर मी 5.5 साल की जर्नी टेंप्टिंग था कि बीच-बीच में काफी सारे ऑफर्स आ रहे थे कि मैदान इज टेकिंग टाइम टू दिस ये कर लो बीच में सब कोई फिल्म ये कर लो बीच में वो कर लो बीच में बट आई कुडंट डिटैच माय सेल्फ फ्रॉम मैदान बिकॉज़ आई थॉट इफ आई डू समथिंग एल्स विद मैदान चीटिंग करूंगा मैं इट इज ऑलमोस्ट लाइक चीटिंग या सो आई डिडंट वांट टू डू दैट बिकॉज़ दिस फिल्म नीडेड अ लॉट ऑफ लव अफेक्शन ऑनेस्टी पेशेंस ऑनेस्टी या बहुत ज्यादा चाहिए था तो i think very few directors are that passionate and that's i think that's what reflects when you see it on the screen as well the passion of director and his vision basically so i think that's a great thing and it's easy to slip and very difficult to be there so i think that's amazing i think my advertising work keeps keeps me uh, <laughs> in level because uh, agar khali khali baithe honge to dimag bahut jagah ha ka bhagega but i love making ads yeah i will never stop making ads yeah बिकॉज आई रियली लव मेकिंग एड्स बिकॉज उसमें आप अलग अलग तरीके की जब कहानियाँ बताते हैं मेरी एड्स में भी कहानी होती है तो जस्ट कीप्स यू बिजी इन दैट एंड कीप्स यू इंगेज एंड वो तो ना मशीन चलती रहती है रमा होती रहती है तो वो ही चल रहा है एंड दैट्स जस्ट हेल्प मी अलॉट इन टर्म्स ऑफ नॉट टू ड्रिफ्ट माई सेल्फ इधर उधर कहीं ना जाऊँ करेक्ट बट वही है कि ये दिस फिल्म It's really close to my heart, and uh, it has taken a lot of time to make this one. But excitement level is there. At the peak, you know, when when there is football in the in like there's such a big football film, where you are so particular about shooting the football sequences in a certain way. How was it to get everyone in the in in the team? Was it great actors who then learned football, or great footballers whom you taught the emotions like? Firstly, so uh, casting was a process for this film. You know, it yeah. was a long process. It took me 14 months to cast my 15 players. Okay. It took actually took me 15 months because my criteria of casting was quite difficult, mm-hmm. uh, which you will which you will see in the in the in the film by the end. Actually, you'll see it in the end of the film. Mm-hmm. So my uh, casting is done by Webhav uh, Anti Casting. Okay. Fantastic casting director. सो आई टोल्ड हिम दैट यू नो मेरे को बहुत अच्छा फुटबॉलर चाहिए फर्स्ट क्राइटेरिया अच्छा एक्टर चाहिए सेकेंड एंड थर्ड थर्ड सुन के उसके थोड़ा वो थोड़ा वो हक्का बक्का रह गया मतलब ही वेंट पेल ही सेड हाउ विल दिस हैपन बताया सेड यू नो दिस हैपन्स इन वेस्ट वाई कान बी डू इट ओवर यूर ई सेड डन आई विल डू इट so the third criteria was actually uh, i showed him 
the players the real players okay chuni go swami pk banerji thangaraj jarnel singh in sabki pictures maine dikhaye ha and i said i want this so the third criteria was wow hum shakal ji <laughs> and you got them all you will see it in the end of the film oh it's there in the credit titles okay you will see the thing you will they are amazingly like you know unbelievably similar similar wow so great actors great footballers and hamshakal and you got all three all three and i said ye hota hai west mein aisa hota hai ha why can't we do it uh, over here in india we have to do this and this we did uh in 2018 yeah. we started our casting. casting process in 2018 december we started our casting process okay and it was uh, hats off to him he we we i saw ab, ab, at least minimum of 6500 about 7000 casting reels oh. of of uh, for these 15 players wow and the casting happened in like it happened all india bombay delhi calcutta calcutta means west bengal pura yeah. west bengal mein har jagah pe uh, chennai Hyderabad. kerala punjab yeah. जिस भी एथनिसिटी से जो प्लेयर थे एक्चुअल मुझे वहीं से मिल गए शिमला सो एंड देर देर वर सम सम प्लेयर्स हु आर ग्रेट प्लेयर्स या बट देवर नो देवर देवर नॉट एक्टर्स वैसे एक्टिंग में सिखा लूंगा ओके एक्टिंग में करवा लूंगा कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं है सो वी डिड वी डिड यू नो रिहर्सल्स विद देम इन टर्म्स ऑफ फुटबॉल वी डिड practice like training we trained them for about one year the players okay we did their grooming in terms of uh, uh, body language body like language and everything yeah. and we did uh, you know acting rehearsals so uh, all that we did and you will see it in the in the film wow. um so somebody asked me that why didn't you cast all these players who are already known actors i said then reality will not be there <laughs> then realism will not be not there. be there yeah because when you are watching the film i want you to be transported into that era that that time and with this team you will because none of the players are uh, known players yeah you know known actors so whoever whoever has seen the film they have said that keep I could relate to these players because mm-hmm. unka kuch uh, history nahi tha yeah. unke dimag ke andar unka kuch unki koi purani film nahi dekhi thi unhone yeah so they were watching maidan and they were in it correct and uh, there is priyamani ma'am and gajraj rao sir as well i think uh, priyamani ma'am is playing the wife of sayed abdul rahim and gajraj sir is a journalist could you tell us something on that casting as well so uh, Priyamani uh, oh what 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 a, what a fantastic actor she is uh, whenever she has come in the frame she has just lit up the scene and uh, when you have this kind of an actor no uh, where you are saying and you are getting it yeah it is blessing it is blessing uh, so she is she is playing Ajay Devgan's uh, Sayed Abdul Rahim's wife yeah and she's saira her name is and she's played it so well so well i i don't have words for her you know it's, it's she's outstanding hmm. she's just superb uh it was a role which everybody will not get it also hmm all the actors will not not get it okay but she got it so right so balanced and whatever i wanted i got it okay gajraj rao um he's i love him i really <laughs> you really did badayo yeah i really really uh, like him and and i love him so um i had done badayo with him hmm. and in badayo he's playing uh, um a very lovable husband hmm. character that kind of a character yeah. but he has that other side also hmm. because a great actor 
can give you what you want <laughs> can actually transform himself or herself yeah and so i wanted him to do this role it's a it's an antagonist role okay it is um, a, a a role which he is the main antagonist of in, in the film where uh, so you nobody will <clears throat> after badhaiyo is done many films like badhaiyo yeah no happy jovial character yeah you know father fatherly and all those things but this kind of a character nobody would would matlab koi expect nahi karega ki ye gajraj rao ko hum aise aise role mein dekhenge this is the reason and the kind of value addition he puts in the in the in the, in the story in in, the, in that yeah. character so we gave him that kind of a look he's playing a he's playing a owner of a newspaper but he is uh, main passion is football so okay. he writes about sports okay and he's the antagonist um, in that era brilliant <laughs> just simply brilliant he's just done a outstanding outstanding job my team uh, my dop uh, tushar kanti re uh, my editors uh, dev tero jadav and shana uh, shana was masani they have done a great job like right? it's uh, it's not a easy film to edit hmm. so i had uh, dev is the main editor for the film and uh, shana was as edit has edited uh, the sports kyunki ye aisa aisi film thi itni footage thi ki ye ek editor se nahi hota nahi hota because so uh, dev was editing the whole film and shana was was <laughs> editing uh, sports and because sports ka ek feel alag se aapko aayega film ke andar okay ek refreshing feel aayega wahan se aapko ek to zaruri tha ki us tarah se isko treat okay. kiya jaye aur uh, uh, tushar kanti re is shot the film is my dop uh, khyati she has done the uh, she is my main pd production okay. designer aman and atul aman is uh, she he is my associate director on the film uh atul was my chief ad so this was my core team, team. vignesh uh my da and my uh, vfx uh, yeah. main person from my team i think when you have this kind of a team nobody can stop you to make a film what you want to make yeah and that smile says it all i think so that you are confident that you have got what you wanted i'm yeah. i'm happy i'm contented yes and lastly before we wrap up which is your favorite scene for the from the film without giving away any spoilers if you can tell yaar baimani ho jayegi baki scene se ek scene batane se to ab main us scene ke bare mein baat nahi kar sakta hu actually okay kyunki wo thoda maza kirkira ho jayega jo picture dekhenge mai ko pata nahi kab release hoga ye interview before the film yeah before the film to to main us scene ke bare mein baat nahi karunga after the release maybe we can dissect that favorite scene uh the interval point basically okay just before interval there is this one scene where uh, the performance of ajay devgan is oh okay. my god yeah aur uh, aasan nahi hai wo scene shoot karna hmm. perform karna aur shoot karna aasan nahi hai okay to jab aap picture dekhenge to aapko samajh mein aa jayega main kis scene ki baat kar raha hu ajay devgan is oh my god he's <laughs> done amazing work in that yeah. like the whole film but yeah he's this one outstanding correct mere ko chahiye tha ki main wahan pe bas wo ek aankh geeli ho jaye lekin aansu nahi tapakna chahiye is done it on that note thank you so much it was lovely speaking to you and after this conversation i am looking forward to maidan even more than what i was before the interaction so yes and congratulations and best of luck thank you thank, thank you. you so much